welcome to this prestigious gala in support of the Rabin Medical Center. My heartfelt gratitude to each of you for being here tonight, especially on the eve of such a pivotal moment in our democracy, and on this being the 29th anniversary of the assassination of our namesake, Yitzhak Rabin, the fifth Prime Minister of Israel, which took place on November 4th, 1995. Your presence here tonight reassures me that we are indeed a community committed to this extremely important cause. Please know how much we appreciate all of the honoree's generous spirit and dedication to Israel. I'm always moved by the humane and heartfelt intention that Rabin Medical Center has for its patients, its staff, and to all the people of Israel. The next section, of our evening continues the celebration of civic and philanthropic leadership. American Friends of Rabin Medical Center is so proud to present the Yitzhak Rabin Lifetime Real Estate Leadership Award to the Bank of America, accepted on, by you, Sherry, an exemplar of civic and corporate responsibility, American leader in combating intolerance and discrimination. Thank you for being a true friend of Israel and the Jewish people, and thank you for all you're doing for Rabin Medical Center. Congratulations. Thank you, Mitch, and good evening to everyone. It is an honor to accept this award on behalf of Bank of America. We also recognize Prime Minister Rabin's incredible dedication to the vision of peace, justice, and the human capacity for change. The Rabin Medical Center is a testament to that dedication. It stands as a beacon of resilience, innovation, and hope. Their life-saving teams are an everyday reminder that every human life deserves dignity. And the Rabin Medical Exchange Fellows Program is an excellent torchbearer to continue this work. We are humbled and very honored that one of the fellowships will be named in Bank of America's honor. And thank all of you for your legacy of service and your immense impact on countless lives. Thank you very much. Shalom. Thank you for being here at a time when Israel, the United States, and the world are threatened by cultures of death. We must support cultures of life. The Rabin Medical Center was founded, funded, and operates every day to save lives, to preserve lives, and to bring new life into the world for Christian, Jews, and Muslims. It's really a pleasure to be here tonight. Naftali Bennett's story is a uniquely Israeli story. It is fitting that Naftali Bennett is here tonight to support the Rabin Medical Center, an institution that stands as a living testament to the vision of unity that defined Naftali's coalition as Prime Minister. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, all of you for coming over uh, this evening. Tzachar Rabin, whether you agreed with him or not, you knew that the only thing he cares about every day, every morning, is the good of Israel. I, I was blown away with the Rabin Medical Center. The they built a makeshift underground hospital. The beauty of, of the staff and the patients, it, it's, it's a microcosmos of, of Israel. You have religious, secular, Arabs, Jews, everyone's just a human being there. It, it matters, even if it's a week or two, whatever, just come to Israel, speak up and fight the battle for Israel. We need you. There are a few very special people here with us tonight who are celebrating birthdays. Could we wish our AFRMC board member, Gary Jacob, and our AFRMC honorary board chairman, Scott Reckler, and my beautiful mom, Dahlia, who tells me that 88 is the new 49. The American Friends of Rabin Medical Center presents the Tzach Rabin Lifetime Real Estate and Legal Leadership Award. Rob Soren, partner real estate, Fried Frank, venerated leader in American real estate law, trusted advisor and loyal friend, a generous philanthropic spirit, exemplary AFRMC board member. Standing here tonight, I'm filled with immense gratitude, not only for this recognition, but for the opportunity to celebrate the important work of the American Friends of the Rabin Medical Center. As a former prime minister and military leader who transitioned from war hero to peace advocate, Rabin exemplified thoughtful, compassionate leadership, a hospital and medical center dedicated to the care and treatment of the ill and injured. What can be a more altruistic mission than that? But while I'm honored to receive this award, I really see it as a reminder of the responsibility we all share 
to use our skills, resources, and influence to make a lasting difference in the world and in the lives of the people of Israel. Let us continue to support the vital work of the Rabin Medical Center. Together we can ensure that its mission of healing and hope continues to thrive for generations to come. I will give Bruce the American Friends of Rabin Medical Center presents the Itzhak Rabin Lifetime Real Estate Leadership Award to Bruce Mosler. Join me in standing and applauding this remarkable American. We are here tonight, however, to support Rabin Medical Center. It is a center of goodness and mercy, of research and discovery, and in these difficult days of courage and endurance. For as Dr. Plout has said, the hospital is a model of coexistence, serving over a million patients annually from all ethnic and all religious backgrounds. And now, a front line of Israel's defense is treating the many wounded Israeli soldiers and civilian casualties. And if I may add this, it's a place of hope in a year, lean of hope, a temple sustaining the flame of L'chaim for days beyond the days anyone believed that flame could burn. It is also a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path, a miracle of miracles. And particularly in these harrowing times, I know I can say this, we're all proud to stand by it. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is much in need of such healing light these days. On behalf of my Cushman Wakefield colleagues, 52,000 strong, thank you all tonight. God bless you. God bless America. L'chaim. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight, all amazing people who've done incredible work. Thank you all, donors, friends, new friends. And so in closing, I just want to announce that American Friends of Rabin Medical Center is proud to establish the following three Rabin Medical Fellowships in honor of the Bank of America, Robert J. Soren, and Bruce E. Mosler. Prime Minister, thank you for being here tonight. You know, your comments were inspiring. I appreciate you for what you're doing. Today we were talking and you said, talk soft, act hard. Today you sound like you were talking hard and acting hard, and that's what we need <laughs> to get there. So thank you for everything you've done. I just want to say uh, thank you. Right now, as we speak on the borders of uh, Israel, we've got thousands of boys uh, and girls uh, out fighting, so I'll just give a 10-second uh, blessing for them. Mi sheberach avoteinu Avraham, Yitzchak v'Yakov, hu yivarech et chayalei tzva agana l'Yisrael. He who blessed our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may bless our sons and daughters in the um, Israeli Defense Forces and protect them. Thank you very much.